Hey, there are times we want a date in our C Sharp applications. Not a date with a time, just a date, like a birth date or anniversary or hire date. In this video, we walk through the new ish date only data type that was introduced in .NET 6. We examine its benefits and look at several ways that date only can simplify our code. Here I am in VS Code with a new C Sharp console application open, but we could do the same thing in Visual Studio. Let's say that we need to add a higher date to our application. We could use the date time data type like we have in the past. Date time, higher date time, equals new date time. 2024, 3, 14. And let's write that to the console. That's a bit verbose. Notice that we are telling the compiler twice that we want a date time. There are two ways to shorten this syntax. We can replace the first date time with a var. Or starting in C sharp 9, we can use the target typed new expression and remove the second date time. We first undo the var because we have to specify the type at least once. And since we have it here on the left, we can remove it entirely from the right. This now uses the target typed new expression. We can use this target type new expression for creating any new object, not just dates. But I digress. Let's run the application. And I'll close some of these extra windows. We see the result here in the console. Even though we only need the date, the compiler added the time gunk on it. And yeah, we could use formatting to remove that gunk. But wouldn't it be nicer if we had a date without the time? Yes, it would. Starting with .NET 6, we have the date only type. Let's copy our code. Change the variable name slightly. And change the type to date only. Running it again, we see that our date only date is just the year, month, and day. Cool. Why use this new date only type? It provides better serialization, as we just saw. We don't have to constantly format it to take off the time portion. It clearly defines our intent. It's clear that we only mean to track the date, not the time or the time zone. It provides better type safety. The new date only only has properties and methods that work with the date, so it better handles dates without odd issues with time zones. If you are storing the date, it better matches with the database date type. And it adds properties and methods to aid in date manipulation. Let's take a look at some of them. One common thing we do with dates is to get the current date. We can now get the current date as a date only. Date only current date equals date only dot from date time date time dot now. And we'll write that to the console. We can easily find the number of days between two dates using day number, which is the number of days since January 1st, 0001, and is useful for math operations on dates. int num days equals current date dot day number minus higher date dot day number. And let's write that to the console. I'll use string interpolation. Running the application again, I'll scroll the console window, and we see the original date time, the date only higher date, the current date, and the number of days between those two dates. Using date only provides an easy and full-featured way to work with dates when you aren't concerned with a particular time. Are you using date only now? Would you consider using it in the future? Let me know how it's working for you in the comments. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe.